Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and are my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you a story, Attacked of the Evil Minions. See that guy there among all the yellow fellows? That's Wu. He was once a villain, but now he has turned the secret lab under his house into a jelly factory. The yellow fellows are minions. See all the minions at work making jelly? Well, most of them are working. The bad news is that the jelly taste grows. Kevin asks Gru, Boss, Gru throws his hands up in the air. You know what? He says. Let's shut it down. We are officially out of the jelly business. The minions cheer. Then they smash all the jelly jars to celebrate. Later that night, the doorbell rings at Gru's house. Oh no, a mysterious villain grabs the minion. So many minions, so little time. Meanwhile, the other minions are hanging out. It's good to be a minion. Hey Jerry, Kevin, keep an eye on things, okay? Asks Gru. I'm going out. The minions take a look around the house. All is quiet, so they decide to have some fun. Kevin nudges Jerry. Hey, put put, he asks. Jerry giggles. Oh, ha ha ha. They hear a loud noise outside. The minions tiptoe outside looking for a burglar. Boka boka, they wonder. Suddenly, a stray cat jumps out of a garbage can. Kevin and Jerry laughed at each other for being so scared. Look at two, they put at each other. The pointing turns into a wrestling match, but they freeze when a strange beam of light shines down and above. Two more minions missing. The next day, an ice cream truck drives by the house. Guru should really mind his minions. Someone keeps taking them. Someone has collected mucho minions and put them on the beach. They don't know it, but the minions are trapped. What will happen to them? A minion is a terrible thing to waste. In another secret lab, the villain has plans for the minions. The minions don't notice the purple goo. What will that purple goo do to them? It turns Tom into a monster. Yellow is no longer mellow. But one evil minion is never enough. The new evil minions are unstoppable. Flames don't burn them. Explosives are just a mild tummy ache. And they eat metal lots of metal. The mastermind behind the minion mania is known as El Macho. The time has come, my purple army. He cries, I will unleash you and you will eat the entire city. The world will be ours. El Macho looks around. Hey minions, what are you doing? Pay attention. Stop eating the rocket. We need that. Get a hold of your brains. Everybody, back in line. El Macho unleashes his evil minions into the world. First, Gru's house. It's an attack of the evil minions. Purple evil minions eat through the walls of Gru's lab. The minions don't know what to do. What should they do? One minion throws a leftover jar of jelly at the purple monsters. The jelly is a cure. The monster turns back into Kevin. Gru assembles his minions. Now he knows what to do. 
He points to a vat of unused jelly and says, Team Minion, all hands on deck. Let's put this horrible jelly to good use. The Minions load globs of jelly into a blaster ship and zoom into the air to zap all the evil Minions with splats of sticky stuff. It's over, El Macho. You lose, yells Gru in triumph as minions warn the villain. No, cries El Macho, my minions. My minions, says Gru, the best minions ever. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, Attack of the Evil Minions. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!